This poem has been requested by Mike Putnam, a man of many talents who has supported his climbing habit variously, but principally as an international structural glazier for hire. To tabulate his other paid and voluntary contributions to adding modern building materials and sheer joy to the world would take too long. Suffice it to say, on the many occasions that he's climbed on a table and begun to sing Brother Gorilla, he's never subsequently been asked to sing Over the Hills and Far Away. Some may have thought of doing so, but few have been big enough or drunk enough to give it voice. This poem is by Craig Rain, a man from Durham County, as Mike himself is. Raised in a prefab in Shildon, Rain came from a colourful family, his father being a prize fighter, faith healer and publican. Rain married Anne Pasternak Slater, the niece of Boris Pasternak, the Russian poet and author of Dr Zhivago. They have two children and each family member has achieved distinction in the literary world. Written in 1979, the poem is a Martian's impressions of life on earth in an evidently domestic setting in the Western world. Some basic references are perhaps helpful. Caxtons are books, and the haunted apparatus, a telephone, with a dial and snoring dialing tone. The Model T is fairly obvious, but the punishment room to which all the fully grown go without food is often the smallest of rooms in the house. A Martian sends a postcard home. Caxtons are mechanical birds with many wings, and some are treasured for their markings. They cause the eyes to melt or the body to shriek without pain. I've never seen one fly, but sometimes they perch on the hand. Mist is when the sky is tired of flight and rests its soft machine on ground. Then the world is dim and bookish, like engravings under tissue paper. Rain is when the earth is television. It has the property of making colours darker. Model T is a room with a lock inside. A key is turned to free the world for movement, so quick there's a film to watch for anything missed. But time is tied to the wrist, or kept in a box, ticking with impatience. In homes, a haunted apparatus sleeps that snores when you pick it up. If the ghost cries, they carry it to their lips and soothe it to sleep with sounds. And yet they wake it up deliberately by tickling with a finger. Only the young are allowed to suffer openly. Adults go to a punishment room with water but nothing to eat. They lock the door and suffer the noises alone. No one is exempt and everyone's pain has a different smell. At night, when all the colours die, they hide in pairs and read about themselves in colour with their eyelids shut. Just so I can pass by each day Not a single word do we say It's a pantomime and not a play Still I know I rise off the meat I can drink us not to my feet When you're smug as much to discreet Sends me on my way Wouldn't it be better not to be so polite You could offer a line Start a little conversation now It's alright Just say fine Just say fine just say